Paranormal Captivity. Today I am with my mom. Hello. And we are at Mount State Park. And here we are at one of the mound sites where they would hold all kinds of different like ritual celebrations of life and death and all kinds of things. And so this area outside of where I'm walking is off limits. But you can see it's like a raised mound and then a mound in the middle. Yeah, so we're out here. Um, there's a lot of other folklore associated with this site, aside, there's dust, aside from just the celebrations that were taking place here. Um, the one that we are most curious about would be the blue people. The article I read said that the original people of this land were not the Indians, that they were a gnome, a dwarf and gnome sized type people that were called, and I'm going to spell it for you, P-U-D hyphen W-U-D hyphen I-E-S, I believe. That's Pudgewe, something like that, and I'm sorry if I'm saying it incorrectly, but they were the original people of this land, and they can still be And they be usually wear blue. Yeah, and they can still be sighted out here today. People have seen small blue cloaked figures um, throughout the park and by the White River that also runs up to Noblesville, Indiana, which is to the north of here. Um, and there's been attacks. And there's been attacks. <laughs> there's been they're, attacks um, by these people. There's, they're not very friendly. They're, they're like little wicked trickery people. <laughs> they um, uh, like to push people off cliffs. They like to cause stab people. Stab they people. Little they knives. carry little knives. They um, are pain inflictors. So I guess you could say they were the first. What are those people called? I don't know. What people? You know, when you're sadomasochist, what are they? <laughs> like sadists? What are those people? Dominatrix. They were the first, Whoa, they were the no, first bad mean that's people. Different. <laughs> they probably didn't get paid for it. Anyway, <laughs> um, they like to inflict pain on people. Um, and they like to be left alone. So like yes. the people who were the Native Americans who settled here always avoided them and, and said they you shouldn't go near their them. Spirits. They say that, yes. that they control the spirits of the Native Americans. Of Ameri the ones they like killed. killed. So we spoke nicely to them when we came in. We chatted with them about um, not being responsible for the things that happened to them in their land. Um, even though I am part Indian, I had nothing to do with it. Um, <laughs> so I asked them to be nice to us. We'd like to see one, but we don't want to be hurt by one. So. Yeah, because supposedly they'll like lure you to your death and like just all around be mean. But we're hoping to catch a glimpse of something blue cloaked and friendly today. Yes. Because we figure maybe if we've evolved, so have they. <laughs> and they've learned to live here. And people, they know that this is a sacred place and we're not going to take it away from them. And they aren't going to hurt them. So there's really no reason for them to be mean and snappy anymore. Right. <laughs> I'm going off camera now. Okay, thank you Kelly. You're welcome. <laughs> so we're gonna explore the woods and occasionally turn on the camera and see if we can catch anything sneaky. Maybe we'll see the blue people across the river. They probably in the fall fly around amongst the leaves and you never even notice. Well, I'm just saying this would be, if I was a fairy, I would be out today. Found that one's pretty. So if I'm walking and not paying attention and I see a like trail of blue people, I want to know about it. Because yeah, sometimes things appear on the video after the fact mm -hmm. that you didn't want to see. Well, blue guys, I do have to say this. We have a fence here, so there'll be no cliff pushing. What? The fence is missing up here. <laughs> That's a pretty steep ravine. Let's go. 
No. Not Let's happening. go down the trail. No. Why? In. Oh. Oh, something blue. What? Really? It's a reflection of the water in the light. Oh man. You know what I mean? I got so excited. Which really, honestly, could be what people have seen all these years. Someone, and I'm gonna say it's those little gnomes have removed all the rails. <laughs> you think this is all their fault? They're just trying to push people. I don't mean to speak badly of you fellas. <laughs> They're just making me a little nervous. I think we should take a little repost on this bench and try to conjure up a spirit. Conjure up a spirit? Yes. We've walked and walked and walked and we didn't spot any blue people. Unless I find some when I review the footage, but I doubt that I will. <laughs> but we did find out that sometimes they disguise themselves as porcupines from the back. So <laughs> they turn around with a human face. Yes, and then they turn around and have a human face. And their faces were cool. Like when it, it described how they looked, they were humanoid, but with bigger noses, bigger fingers, and bigger ears, right? Yes. So I imagine they look like treasure trolls. Oh, but they had gray skin. That's so right. they had gray skin. And uh, that they could appear and disappear at will. So. They probably just did not want to appear to us. But yeah, that was our adventure at Mount State Park. If you liked this on location vlog with my madre, you can give me a thumbs up and that way I'll know it. But if you didn't like us out and about in the world, you can leave a thumbs down and I can keep it in mind for next time. I'm Kat, that's Kelly, my mom. And welcome to Paranormal Captivity. Have a strange day. Bye.